All right, so basically we are a quality monitoring system for upper GI endoscopy, and we use AI to reduce the blind spots. So as a quick summary, we are a seed stage funded startup. Our product has already been built. Uh, we are based out of Hong Kong, and we are in advanced talks with Olympus for distribution, which by the way holds 70% of the endoscopy market share. So gastric cancer is a huge problem in East Asia where the incidence rates are 10 times higher as compared to the Western counterparts. Endoscopy is the gold standard for early detection, but 10% of the patients uh, get missed even after they go through the endoscopy. The question is, why do the doctors miss? So the upper GI tract has a very elusive structure, which makes it very hard for the doctors to cover all the blind spots. So here's a quick demo of our, uh, our solution. So on, on the left-hand side, you can see the real-time video feed. Um, and on the right hand side, you can see that all the uh, blind spots, sorry. So on the right hand side, you can see in the thumbnail set, uh, all the blind spots have been tracked. So the goal of the doctors is to make sure that they have seen all these areas. And in, in addition to that, what we are doing is we are also calculating the time spent at each of the landmarks. And uh, we are also generating the photo documentation autonomously. So it saves the doctors the time to uh, take, uh, take all these pictures. So here's how it is used in clinical practice. Uh, in terms of competition, there's a lot of interest in AI for endoscopy, but our niche is uh, AI technique improvement in upper GI, which is not competitive. We have an exclusive IP arrangement with the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and we are uh, we are backed by Hong Kong Science Park, which is a government uh, Hong Kong government uh, aided uh, grant. The next product pipeline is automating the report writing. We have a world class uh, team of clinicians, which also includes Professor Ken Xiao, who has invented the screening protocol that we all are discussing here today. The founding team has varied backgrounds in business, medical, and technology. The future of uh, endoscopy is going to be autonomous, and uh, we have already taught the anatomic, uh, the, our AI that about the anatomical understanding. So, which is the which is the founding stone, which is like the uh, the basis, uh, you know, for artificial general intelligence in the field of endoscopy. So that's it from me and uh, okay. Forward. Thank you so much for great pitch. Uh, so the judges, let's start Q and A. Yeah, hi. I would I would love to ask like uh, you mentioned that it would save the time for the doctors. So how would that be? Because from what I've understood from speaking to the doctors is that like they really don't like the use of. Uh, like capsule endoscopy and all because it, it asks like to see each and every corner of the stomach and all of that when when the doctor immediately after seeing the the snapshot he knows that it's a phys like physiological like there's nothing wrong with the patient so even in such cases like the if you go through like um, ai and all like the, that's the problem that the doctors face so what's what's your opinion about that and how does it save the time yeah actually that's a great question and uh, that's one of the the, the future uh, prospective studies that we are uh, aiming to, to prove. So uh, the first to answer the first question, there's some kind of learning curve. Uh, so for the expert doctors, it doesn't take much time, but let's say if you for a trainee, if you suddenly put an AI, uh, there is some kind of learning curve. So yes, there is an increase initially, you know, when you ask them to see all those blind spots. So in the beginning, there is an increase in the inspection timing and gradually as uh, let's say in within two minutes, they, get, uh, they get more used to this. Uh, and then their timing also goes down. So that's one thing. Uh, secondly, it directly saves the photo documentation time. So right now, at least in, in, in the Eastern Asian countries, they're uh, following the systematic screening. So for that, they have to stop at each and every location taking those pictures. So we are like asking them not to do that. We'll auto autonom autonomously um, you know, populate that, uh, that report. So on the reporting side, we are saving a lot of time, not on the procedure side. Okay, thank you so much. Any questions? Sir? I just wanted to ask one question if that is okay with you, Elena. Sure. Yeah, 
Hi, Saurabh. This is Brad. I just want to ask you, you know, liver cirrhosis is one of the greatest problems in the medical fraternity face, right? And it is handled by endoscopy. Uh, does your solution kind of, you know, capture it and eventually provide some solution? Well, uh, that's, uh, that's, yeah, there are actually plenty of requests coming, already started to come uh, to us. So the, the liver cirrhosis kind of, it's, it's uh, the endoscopic EUS uh, uh, site, which there are some uh, future applications towards this, but to be very honest, like we want to stay focused towards uh, like more on the diagnostic side of upper GI because things are pretty competitive. So we were we're planning to build like incrementally, uh, like more like starting from, uh, you know, uh, like like improving the accuracy to going more deeper into uh, the reporting and the ICT applications. Got it. Thanks. Okay. Thank you so much. Any questions else? We have time for one question. Yes, please. So uh, a good presentation. I wanted to find out, you know, you mentioned that 10% of gastric cancer cases are missed. Now, have you checked with your technology, you know, whether this 10% has come down to zero at, or at what levels essentially? And what is the accuracy at which you, you, you detect? Yeah, that's a great question, uh, Shailesh. And uh, so actually, uh, so far we have done um, clinical validation of our software. So the goal of our mm -hmm. prospective study is to do a double blindness study. In, in this, we will be able to prove this. Uh, but uh, we have already, uh, like as part of the clinical validation, we have already seen that there are plenty of spots being missed. So it's almost like a trivial outcome from the blind. Uh, like it, it's going to be the primary outcome, but we already know that if you put that, uh, you know, that thing in the hospital, doctors uh, always tend to cover all those areas once you show them. So it is going to be proven as part of the prospective study. Uh, since the study is going to start in uh, uh, January uh, 2021, uh, I mean, which is basi uh, basically just to add uh, like more credibility, but it's not stopping our commercialization. Like we have already uh, going at with, with the commercialization. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Can I ask uh, one question, please? Um, on the commercial side of things, can you just talk me through the um, the the strategic partnership uh, that you have? Uh, yeah, I mean, at this point, I, I mean, we can disclose that we are we are Olympus, uh, which is like the market leader for endoscopy, and uh, I mean, yeah, we, we're in, we're in terms like there there are certain things which. which which needs some kind of NDA to, to have further uh, details just to uh, connect afterwards and speak in details.